to make sure your customers have an ease of using your online e-commerce site we have the something that's called the shipping here shipping options which you can preset and actually have your customers just select from the available options so under the main menu there is a menu called shipping and under this menu you'll find two options you'll find the careers and you find the actual preferences in the careers you'll actually have a list like we had before so basically I have two two of those at the moment there's Presta shop 1.6 which is actually just a pickup in store and there is my career here which is actually the next day delivery we have the status both of those are actually enabled and the second one is actually disabled here by the default we can actually change this how they appear and we can actually go and edit and well actually I'm going to hit on edit here just to give you some sort of an idea what we are facing here so basically we have some general settings we have the shipping location and cost we have the size weight and the group access and the summary here as well and basically when you come to actually going into here and adding a new you would actually have to know some information from both your actual uh, delivery service so for example the, your career name here you will actually put something you know whichever describes your this particular delivery service the best so even you know maybe TNT or daily delivery or something like that you would enter the actual uh, transition rate but the most important thing will be actually located under the sec second step here which is the shipping location and cost and this is something that you would actually have to consider and actually know before you actually come here and set up all of this so basically you would have to for example contact uh, TNT and actually ask them all right I'm actually you know sending something from LA to I don't know to India can you tell me what the cost would be and basically they will give you some sort of either information or some sort of a code or something that you can actually uh, you know use to actually calculate the shipping costs and everything else there is the size weight and the group access and the last one is the summary so like I said we'll have a look how to actually create different uh, different shipping services okay so hit on cancel and I'll be back to my list here okay let's go into the preferences now under the preferences section you'll find the handling and the career option here so basically if there is any handling charges you will enter that sort of an amount here at the moment I have it in euros free shipping starts at zero meaning that there is absolutely no free shipping free shipping starts at zero kilograms so basically it doesn't matter on the actual weight I'm not giving any sort of a free shipping under the options you'll find the default you can sort it by name you can sort it by price or you can sort it by the position and order by ascending or descending okay once you actually made any of the changes in this box here and this is also important to actually note that as you can see there are two boxes here and if you make any changes here make sure that you actually hit on this save button here so if you make changes here hit on save right here if you make changes here and you hit on this save here the changes you have made in the handling section will not be saved so make sure that once you are actually happy with all the changes in a particular section that you actually hit on the save button in that section if there is one available sometimes you'll actually find all the way down the bottom a save button and that will be good enough to actually hit on that particular button and all of the changes will be saved but in this case since there's two different sections if you like I said if you make changes here in this section and you actually hit on the save button in this section the changes will not be saved okay so there's not a lot of information displayed here when it comes to shipping but when we actually go and we add new we'll actually go through a process of seeing how to add new shipping services to our website and to actually allow those 
to our customers to choose from if they wish to actually have their products that we are selling to them delivered in that particular manner okay so that was that's pretty much it on shipping and like i've said we'll have a more detailed look of how to add new delivery services in one of the future tutorials <music>